Hello and thank you for joining me. Today's video covers my EDC, Every Day Carry. So this is my EDC. These are items that are generally carried on my person every time I leave the house. And when I say on my person, they're either in, in my pockets. I don't carry any of this stuff in a bag. So mobile phone, we all have one of those. Um, behind the cover is uh, an emergency 10 pound note. Wallet, minimalist wallet, it's manufactured by Dango. It was a little bit on the expensive side, but the main reason I was drawn to it was this little pocket here, because I use a Yubico for two-factor authentication uh, on apps and programs, just for a little bit of security. Wallet contains card, ID, cash, the normal sort of stuff you have. As much as a mobile phone has a clock on it, I'm a firm believer in wearing a wristwatch. It's probably my age, but wristwatch, so there's a G-Shock. Got it when it was on special offer, so it didn't break the bank too much. Car keys and house keys. Uh, the house keys are on a little clip, so if I'm, if I'm going out and I don't need to take the vehicle, I can leave that there, and they're on a, a key smart system. Torch is a Fenix E12. Excellent little torch. Runs off of one single AAA battery. It, he says it's getting his notes. Uh, on low, which is five lumens, it's got a run time of 70 hours. And to be fair, on uh, the low setting, that is all I need if I get up of a night and I need to go somewhere without turning the lights on and waking up the good lady. Five lumens is plenty. Uh, medium is 30 lumens with a 13 hour runtime, and high is 160 lumens uh, for an hour. So that's more than enough. No silly strobes, all that sort of jazz, uh, just a rear clicky switch and it just cycles through it. The usual clip on it, it's a double clip so you can actually clip it onto the, the cap of your baseball cap or your clothing if you need a little bit of hands free illumination. Knife wise, it's a Swiss Army knife. Uh, this model is the Fieldmaster. Uh, it's about perfect for me. In the UK, it's non locking, yeah, it's not fixed, so I can carry this without any reason other than wanting to carry it. I don't need a corkscrew on it, so it's got the scissors, uh, a wood saw, two blades, tin opener, can opener. Phillips screwdriver, an awl, a hooky thing, uh, and a pin. Just the normal, just normal stuff. But it's, I've had it for quite a while. I use it every single day. Uh, and in my opinion, it's the best Swiss Army knife uh, of the non-locking variety that you can carry. Then I've got a man purse. It's just something I picked up on Amazon a few years ago. It's made by a company called Rough Enough, which is apparently uh, from the USA. The prices at the moment for them are stupid. Uh, I don't know why, perhaps it's a, I don't know, logistics problems or whatever, but it is very expensive at the moment. But at the time that I got it, it wasn't. The contents, I have five one pound coins, always handy. Mainly there though, because I do fish matches and it's usually costing me 16 quid. So that's always handy with the odd pounds, but it's also good for vending machines, that sort of thing. I've got a little Olight pen. There is a Gerber dime. I like the spring-loaded pliers. They're, that's the, the main reason that I carry that. Uh, a lens cleaning cloth, because I wear glasses. It's always handy to try and keep them clean. Just a few bits on a key ring. There's a radar key that gives me access to uh, disabled toilets, etc. should I need them. A thumb drive, and all I've done for that is I used a bit of heat shrink tubing just to make a little sleeve on the end, just to protect it. There's sort of important documents, etc. on there, and they're encrypted. Uh, a whistle. Loads of people are gonna say, why are you carrying a whistle in an in, uh, in a urban environment? For the same reason you would out in the wild. Uh, if you need to get someone's attention, it's much easier than shouting. And if you're unfortunate, if there is an incident and you're stuck in a lift or 
in a building or you've injured yourself and you need to get people's attention as I say it's a lot easier to blow that than a shell it takes up no weight and then a, a little true utility cash stash and in there should still be there is a £20 note so emergency money wise I'm normally carrying £25 on me uh, delving into it a little bit further, it's, it's a bit grubby and a bit dirty. It's just a trolley token. A big lighter. SD card adapter. A little diddy flat bladed screwdriver. Um, and I've just put a little rubber sleeve on it to stop it making holes in it. It's just the right size just for doing up the tension on the screws on my glasses that have a tendency to come undone now and again. A Tinder Quick with a SIM removal tool shoved in it. Then there's a Fresnel lens and a piece of mirror that I've just covered with a bit of clean film to protect uh, the glass, which isn't glass, it's plastic. Uh, what I actually done quite a long time ago, you can buy replacement mirrors for car doors uh, on eBay, and they're plastic. And what I done was so I bought one, it wasn't expensive, and then cut it up into usable sizes. So there's a Fresnel lens and a mirror there. Then there's a, a few cards, very tatty business cards, etc. And then there's a little Ziploc and that contains important telephone numbers of people that I would need to speak to. The main reason being that if I lose my mobile phone, I haven't got a clue whose number's what. I, I just cannot retain that information anymore, for whatever reason. Probably because I don't have to because it's in the phone. But if the phone's lost, broke, dead, uh, then I've got the numbers to call. So that's it in my man purse. Then we have the Helicon Text. Uh, micro med kit and I like this um, it's ideal for putting in your pocket which is for a few little sort of bits and pieces that you might need it closes with velcro I've got a couple of safety pins just threaded through the hem then in this zip lock we've got some uh, moist wipes we do like that word don't we moist there's a few moist wipes in there, and there's a, yeah, two moist wipes. Then we've got a little aid memoir as to CPR, that sort of stuff. Then in this zip lock, there's some wound closure strips and just a few assorted plasters. There's also, for when I'm wandering about in the bush, who her misses, a tick removal tool. I think that's it in that side. Then on this side, there is a iodine prep pad. And then there's two little sleeves. And there's some anti diarrhea tablets, poo pills. And in this one, I think it's aspirin. Oh, no, it's not. It's Puritabs. So in there are Puritabs. Which has confused me somewhat because I thought I had paracetamol in here. Ah, uh, uh, that's why. Although that says poo pills, there are four paracetamol in there and then the anti-diarrhea tablets are underneath. Uh, and that's it. That is all I carry on my person bulk of it fits in my pockets. So if it's been of use to you, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. But more importantly, use the comments. I'd like to know what you carry or perhaps what you think I should carry. Uh, bearing in mind it's the UK, so we're not allowed to walk around with firearms. Uh, thank you for watching.